Hello, so tribe friends and family. It's a girl one for four priestess messages. I'm here with a new moon in Libra message. Now, I was called to use two tones of light. We have shine brightly too. Shine bright. Um, I've never used two tones of light for a reading, but I was called to use the blue and yellow light. Blue, throat chakra, truth, yellow, um, solar plexus, but it's also a resemblance of standing in your truth, you know, and shining, shining bright, you know, shine your, your truth shining bright and standing in your truth. You know, so take all of it as it resonates. Leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one session, Akashic Records, or anything else, feel free to check out the box below. It has my website and my email. Sacred Tarot is coming up October 3rd. If you would like to learn tarot, learn how to read tarot, take the fool's journey with us. If you would like to do tarot for other people, how to choose a tarot reader. There's so much that's in the Sacred Tarot course right now. Um, each time it gets revamped a little bit, you know, so this is round four. So if you'd like to join us for round four, please feel free to check out the box below too, or email me. We're going to get right to your new moon in Libra reading though. Libra placements, of course, obviously will be feeling this very heavy. New moon in Libra, balance and change. Change bringing in balance. There's a lot of high manifestation energy right now. Very high manifestation. Um, and I've been saying that right now is a time to manifest that higher timeline, to call it in, to visualize it, to accept it, because this is laying the primer and the foundation of your next six months, much more than eclipse season into 2023. Right. What do we have for the new moon in Libra for the collective? Divine Mother, Divine Father. Uh, we have laugh and have fun over here. What do we have for the new moon in Libra? Be thankful. Gratitude. Gratitude is the everyday attitude. Gratitude, appreciation, and harmony. There goes the harmony and the balance. All right. Um, you are also called to... Right now is a beautiful time to connect. It's a beautiful time to connect with nature, to connect with your spirit guides, with God, with, you know, however it resonates for your journey. I see a lot of people at their altars are just having gratitude. Oh, you have an adventure too. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your dreams. All right, adventure. Understand that everything is higher, you know, right now. Look at that freedom. All right, so it's very important right now. There's a lot of 7-7 seven, seven energy, a lot of Lion's Gate energy as well. So a lot of the mastery, a lot of the destiny energy. You have uh, the generator. You could be, you can resonate as having a generator, human design. You also have staying grounded. Cleansing your energetic field is very important right now too. Everyone's really decluttering with the equinox and the new moon vibes. You're making room. You know, there's a lot of abundant energy. There's just a lot of beautiful shifts. Um, and so no matter what's going on in your life, just know that all of that is balancing to bring you into your highest timeline, to align you, um, to really be able to be open and ready to receive that higher timeline and this beautiful abundance. Too many cards, so we're not going to take those too many cards. Can I have one more card for the collective for this reading? Kundalini activation, all right? Kundalini activation. We were talking about that in the last reading too. There's definitely a lot of activation right now. You have 4-4, four, four, trust, ask, listen, and allow. A lot of surrender. 3-3-3 three, 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 as I say that too. Surrender. Beautiful surrender energy. Shift with the changes. A lot of people are being called to be still so you can hear. Paradigm shift because there's a paradigm shift. And it's not really something we can control. It's more of something to surrender to. Did not fall face up, so I'm not going to take it. Uh, so you can definitely resonate with the Kundalini activation. It's also just ascension. What else do we have for this message? Endless opportunities. Root chakra. All right, ground and center. A lot of grounding over here, especially with all of the shifts. Five is the number of change. The opportunities are endless. The, the abundance is endless. Um, everything, it's, again, that lion's gate energy of the infinite. Really not tethering yourself. Um, envision in these next few days with the new moon in Libra. Envision. Script. Write it out. Burn it. Think about it. Put it in some water and drink it. Whatever it is. These infinite possibilities. This higher timeline. All right? 
Like this is truly, this energy is laying the primer and foundation of the next six months. Right over here. There's a shift. There is a shift. You can join my Patreon to see exactly what that shift is. Uh, I'm not called to to channel like everything anymore um, on here. So that's why I use Patreon to channel some of the other collective energy. There's a permanent shift. There's a permanent shift happening. And it is permanent. And it's like, what do you choose? Right? Um, so that's why there's that energy of shift or be shifted. Um, because that's happening. And the opportunities are endless. Have gratitude. You know, dare to dream and to think differently and be open to ascension. Be open to, um, to all of these new and higher possibilities and things. I'm going to grab one more card. Then I'm going to grab uh, some tarot. I have one more message. Do not fall face up. I have one more message. Yeah. Hmm. The authority of spirit. All right. The secret of Camelot. She's holding her sword, the, the truth. All right. The authority. And I've been getting a lot of that energy, like authority, authority, the authority. You have the green man rising, which is masculine energy, but rising energy surge and fertility. All right. There's a lot of union within and without going on to soul tribe, family. Um, if you resonate with twin flame energy, twin flame energy, there's a lot of abundance, abundance and fertility and energy surge. The energy surge is also Kundalini activation. The, the, the serpent rising, us rising, right? You have pathway, direction, purpose, and change. Be open to aligning with God's will. Be open to allowing your life to change for your highest good. Be open to that. Whatever that looks like. The pathway, direction, purpose, and change. For this rising, for this fertility, I see it as abundance. The green man abundance, 707. Be open to your path changing. Be open to just shifting with however it is that God is shifting you. You know, your spirit guides, whatever you resonate with. Because it's shifting you to higher. All right. Endless opportunities. You have the fool. Brand new journey. 33 seconds. Right? 333. Three, three, three. The fool. Taking the leap. Starting off fresh. Brand new. Cleanse your energy. Call back your power. Cut all the cords. All right? Because there is a shift. Six of cups. All right? You're really welcoming in the new. With this equinox energy, with this new moon and Libra. New moon and Libra is a fresh start. You've balanced those karmic scales. Balancing. This is an opportunity to take a leap into something maybe completely brand new. Being open to purpose or yeah, your purpose or what it is that you do shifting or changing a little bit. But it's bringing this endless opportunity. It's bringing abundance and just having gratitude. All right. Why do we have the full card? Why do we have the full card here? Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups with the full card? Queen of Swords. All right, letting go. Holding the sword. Six of Pentacles. Letting go to receive. Let go to receive. And I've been saying this for a few days with these energies um, on Instagram where it's like, let it go, let it in. Let it go, let it in. The On the bottom of the deck, the authority of spirit. She's holding a sword. Queen of Swords over here. You have the Light Priestess. Galactic Wisdom Cosmic Ritual here. For this new start, there is there's some sort of grief here. You could be letting things go, and that's okay to have grief with letting things go. The way you thought your life would be. People, environments, people, like things, places, whatever it is. Letting go will come with some... There's a lot of past life energy here too. Letting go will come with some grief. Queen of Swords energy. But you're holding that sword. Cutting away what doesn't serve within you and without of you. Five of Cups, she's crying over the three cups in front of her, but there's two cups that are full behind her, you know? So just remember that those two cups are behind you, um, but it does feel like that transitionary stage. We're going to grab a clarification for each card. I'm not taking any reversals because although I cleansed it, I did not um, turn the card space up. Why the full card? King of Wands. Masculine Energy. Why the Five of Cups? Strength. 
Why the Queen of Swords? The world. Brand new cycle. All right, so we have Queen of Swords and we have... We have masculine energy here, though, too, with the Fool. Having the strength to start a brand new cycle. And it's funny, the King of Wands, so this is fire energy, owning your fire. He's showing up as Horus, which is very beautiful. Look at this. He even has, like, the eye right here. A brand new start. Having the strength to change those things. Five of Cups with the Strength card. Having the strength to come into this new cycle. And coming into your truth with the Queen of Swords and the World card, a brand new cycle is beginning. Why the World card here? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. But this Ten of Cups requires you. Ten of Cups is ultimate fulfillment. Uh, Ten of Cups is all, as you can see, it's like happy family, happy life. You know, but it, it's just, to me, Ten of Cups is generational legacy. It's what makes you happy. You know, especially when it comes to like the home. Like what makes you have a happy life? The Ten of Cups is not Ten of Pentacles. So it has nothing to do with money. What's making you happy? Erase money out of the equation. What makes you happy? When it comes to your purpose, take money out of the equation, 11-11. What makes you happy? If you were to work a job and live a life where you made no money at all, what would make you happy? That's what's coming out here. Your happy life has the sacrifice of releasing all those other things. Ten of Wands. To get this Ten of Cups, this new cycle, you need to release like the burden, the Ten of Wands. Look at like he doesn't want to hold on to this anymore. Look at that. I do need to do my nails. I know. But Prince of Pentacles, something brand new. Um, it's a brand new fresh start. Why the world with the Ten of Cups? The star. Okay. You're... Eight of Pentacles. There's something brand new coming in for you here, but you need to surrender. This Five of Cups, the Strength card, like it's a it's a release, it's letting go, but it's bringing in this brand new start. There's a heavy energy here. I saw like another sister say it too. Your dream life. What would be your dream life if you were to make not one penny? What would make you happy? That will bring you the most abundance, but it's releasing that. The star card, all right? The star, New Age of Aquarius. Um, the water barrel, giving, community, co-creation. What's going to make you happy? What's your dream life? You can have your dream life and have the highest abundance with that. Eight of Pentacles, like that. The work will come with your dream life. What's your dream life? I just got a message. Just got a message from someone saying i'm back in my groove All right so like what puts you there look at that five of swords why the five of swords ten of wands and then the moon the prince of pentacles all right it, it's releasing the burdens whatever it is the mind the body the soul the connections the the um what you're used to whatever it is and he's carrying a pyramid all right like what also comes to mind is like you don't have to sacrifice to 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 bring in this dream life to bring in this abundance you don't have to carry the load you don't have to do that you know it, it, what's coming to me is this like hustle culture of like work hard play hard how about just playing hard and just working you know um by the five of swords with the ten of wands here queen of wands And you have the Eight of Swords. All right, Queen of Wands is a boss. A boss, magnetizing. But what's coming to mind is like the boss energy. You know, she's not doing too much. Why is the Eight of Swords next to the, the Three of Swords? There's some sort of blockage here. And what's interesting is these Three of Swords with the White Flower. Like the white flower is innocent, it's pure, but there's, and then 33, there's some sort of three of swords over here. Why are the three of swords with the eight of swords? Six of wands, there's celebration coming. Queen of cups, there's celebration coming. Four, four, four. 
There's some need to, to release karmic debris, to release past hurts. Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. Three of Swords could be third parties. It's also, I feel like, let's get a clarification for the Three of Swords by itself. Why the Three of Swords, though? The moon. All right, the moon, the past. Uh, Six of Swords, coming out of the past, coming out of what's in the mind space. The moon card over here is Persephone, the underworld. So the underworld, the subconscious. Um... This could be, because we do have masculine and feminine energy here, it could be a feminine without, um, it could also be your inner masculine and feminine. There could be a feminine wound that's being healed right now. And it's of the subconscious. Three of Swords with the Moon card. What from, like, what past pain are you holding on to? You have six of wands, which is celebration. She has keys. The keys, the keys, keys. That's what's like interesting. I love this deck. I, I just found, I had this deck a while ago. I just found it again. There's something in the mind space. We have the 10 of wands, five of swords. Something in the mind space to be released. Some sort of pain. And I feel like it's like a root that's coming out. We're going to get one more card for the Eight of Swords, but you have Six of Wands, which is like public celebration, which is celebration. Look at this. Why the Eight of Swords? You have the Devil. Then you have the Princess of Wands. All right, so there's definitely something of the mind space that's really keeping you back over here from this celebration there is a celebration but there's something in the subconscious and the mind space the moon the, the devil card with the eight of swords why the moon with the devil card why the moon with the devil card oh I'm holding them the wrong way backwards why the moon with the devil card four pentacles in the mind space you're holding on to something inner conflict a lot of mind space, a lot of the subconscious, a lot of the inner like underworld and subconscious. There's something that's being held onto there, but that's what's keeping you from the six of wands, which is like celebration. Yeah, four of pentacles is holding onto something. What's the six of wands, the high priestess, all right? Uh, it's feminine energy. Um, There's some sort of feminine, King of Pentacles, there's some sort of feminine wound for some people that is literally like there, there's like one little bit. It's like visually I could see it. And there's like one little bit that like of root to like be ripped out and then boom, celebration. But there's just something still there. You have the High Priestess over here too. It's coming into your feminine energy for some people really in the, the feminine energy is the higher chakras right the upper chakras we have the heart and the, uh, after that the pathway is the upper chakras and that's when really your feminine energy is activated uh high priestess six of wands for this celebration there is some sort of activation release <sighs> using your intuition to in your work will bring this celebration why the High Priestess with the Six of Wands? Six of Swords coming out of troubled water 33 seconds as I say that. Two of Swords coming out of mental conflict. It's like you're thinking, right? But you actually have all of these answers. Six, six, which is harmony and balance. Coming into calmer waters, coming into celebration. But that's with the High Priestess over here. Um, Rite of Passage. I was talking a little bit about initia initiation energy. There's definitely some initiation energies. Um, we have kundalini activation, so there's, okay, so it's getting a little bit deep here. Activation of the upper chakras. Kundalini activation starts at the root chakra, the root chakra. So you have the devil card, you have the moon card, then you have all of these other cards, but you got to get through that first. You need to release that first. There's some sort of clearing that's going to activate for some like just take it as like your intuition right or your feminine energy high priestess and the high priestess she has like her 
she has the underworld in heaven and the lower chakras and the upper chakras and stuff like that like she's the pathway of that and so you're becoming you're you're becoming you are coming into more of like the feminine energy especially if you're a male because it starts off with the fool and the king of wands so and it had the green man rising there's some sort of balance and with the equinox and the new moon and libra there's a balance of the inner masculine and feminine um so there's some sort of activation there there's some sort of coming into your intuition <sighs> a lot in the mind space eight of cups like there's a lot in the mind space and the subconscious to be released but it comes with coming out of those troubled waters six of wands why the six of swords with the six of wands seven of cups endless opportunity all right you have the endless opportunity why the seven of cups ace of cups endless opportunity three of wands holy grail energy too princess of wands stepping into purpose as you step into your purpose um as you balance your inner masculine and feminine which again that's always being balanced so whatever that balance looks like for you you get endless opportunity because it all, it's all aligned with your purpose you're clearing a lot right now clearing like blockages you have the emperor over here so masculine energy could definitely be clearing a lot of blockages right now especially of like the mind space but all of that as you align with your purpose your holy grail you have endless opportunity over here six of wands celebration six of swords by the seven of cups with the ace of cups you have the princess of swords all right which is also the page of swords so it's communication a little bit of protect why the princess of swords here nine of pentacles all right i feel like you're getting downloads you have seven of wands over here you're getting downloads of what is your nine of pentacles what is your stability you're being guided i'm getting like messenger energy you could be getting like messages through birds too your five of pentacles over here what shifts need to be made to to come into this nine of pentacles which is a very stable 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 energy like by yourself a foundation is the nine of pentacles one more card for the princess of swords and nine of pentacles the emperor all right and there goes the bird again all right so you're really being guided right now uh, releasing a lot from the mind space six of pentacles to be open and ready to receive and starting starting a new journey releasing the burdens of what needs to be released whatever that is in your life it's different for five of swords ten of wands what burdens are we holding on to is it the hustle culture is it feeling like we have to do more than we actually have to be doing is it an environment is it a person is it a place is it, is it a thing is it a thought it's different for everyone um there's definitely a lot of like inner union here um a lot of release strength card with the five of cups it's, it's like releasing these things that we're holding on to five of swords with the ten of wands five of cups with the strength card releasing what we're holding on to moon card devil card four of pentacles three of swords um there's definitely some sort of working through in the subconscious in our inner underworld <sighs> to step into our higher truth a lot of fire energy with the queen of wands here too um so working through that what are we what are we holding on to in the mind space oh and what i get is like um the eight of swords like where can we expand our mind and the way that we think uh in order to receive all of this there's an expansion of the mind to be able to see these things to be able to step into these things all right all right two cards of advice temperance peace inner alchemy all right balance that's exactly what this new moon in libra is about is balance you're coming to a balance of all areas of your life i have another card of advice six of cups all right so for some people it's also balancing connections five of wands like conflict you know what could have been in a conflict or balancing some sort of connections it's also um releasing everything that doesn't resonate the way you think people environments whatever it is to be able to call in there's some sort of definitely um focus on connections right now and it's bringing allowing in people into your life and bringing in manifesting whatever it is for you people who give and receive in balance you know with the temperance card balanced connections pure connections joyful connections 
all right and, and making the changes it is in our current life the way we think or like what's in our lives right now to be able to allow for that in one more card for the temperance and six of cups you have the all gifted you have the eight of cups you have the hangman princess of pentacles all right stepping into this new version not even new version but like the higher version of yourself you have the all gifted walking into a brand new perspective right and what it look, looks like it's like pandora's box over here you're walking into something brand new walking away from the old life walking away from the old parts of yourself walking away from people or things or what you're used to to walk into something brand new like you know there's a lot of fire energy here for sure um letting the fire consume you being the fire you know to allow for this new perspective there's a lot going on in the mind space a whole lot all right and the bottom of the deck is a woman here that's pregnant all right it's birthing something new um and you have the magician okay so it's beautiful energy here i'm going to be grabbing a few cards of advice for this new moon and libra reading again if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session if you need it look at that the violet flame so much fire um if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session for any support akashic records to dive into your past life soul purpose the sacred tarot course or a personal reading check out the box below thank you for being here thank you for being you thank you for your service thank you for all of your comments and your reflections beyond the mind this is the card in the last reading and trust your innocence all right the innocence the wise as a serpent pure as a dove in the last reading that i just uploaded i talked about this card and it didn't come out but it's coming out now beyond the mind so much in the mind space like losing the grasp of the ego for some people there's some ego death here because it really is it's like losing the ego's grasp the logic like there's just some, a lot in the mind space a lot to let go of like what um not even what but right now this energy is asking you to go beyond the mind beyond what what makes sense to you maybe for some people it's like because a big message here is like what makes you happy that is your purpose not what makes sense of like okay well i gotta do this and i gotta do that and then this is gonna no what is your dream life what makes you happy Forget the money. Forget how it's all going to work out. What makes you happy? What fulfills you? If you could not get paid a dime or a penny in your life for what you do, but you would come home so fulfilled and happy, what is that? That will bring you the most abundance. Beyond the mind. It's beyond the mind. Ooh. says grounded i myself i'm gonna go ground I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing a patreon reading isis we're gonna be doing a page and thought we're gonna be doing a patreon reading uh after this and we are gonna be holding a patreon event in two weeks or the next week or so i'll keep everyone updated on patreon um but on my patreon you could see different updates that i don't give anywhere else so feel free to join our patreon family isis sacred contracts all right, you could resonate with Isis. It's also the divine feminine. It's the feminine energy. And sacred contracts, though. Uh, there's a lot about contracts right now. There's a lot about destiny, Lionsgate energy. What is your destiny? What's your highest timeline, your sacred contract? What is that? Which will take the ego death. It will take releasing what doesn't resonate, releasing what doesn't serve. And you, it will take like your highest timeline that whatever sacred contract you have to go beyond the mind because the ego or what you know all of that will make all of these different excuses or um the trauma the shadow like whatever it is for you going beyond the mind beyond your dreams beyond what makes sense uh and then you have isis we're gonna grab one more card the thinking man angel of love and cornucopia all right and that's that's what i'm getting it's like a thinking which the logic and stuff like that it is masculine energy we all have masculine energy if i'm overthinking then i'm in my masculine energy but the thinking man cornucopia this this is abundance this is this is abundance this is um receiving it's a beautiful energy. like it, it's the the fruits of your labors very beautiful energy um and again it's beyond there's just this energy of it being beyond the mind, you know, of really 
I hear a noise. It's like really beyond what you can think or see. Right now is the time to call your dream life in. And it is really like I'm saying dream life. It's beyond the dream life. Like God's will is your dream life. You could have it all. You could have it all. It's such a big energy right now. I'm going to be giving an update for Patreon of just exactly like what this is right now in the collective and what's coming up. Um, but the thinking man, right? Number 10 could have something to do with the 1010 portal. We'll grab one more card. And then the sun, okay? The sun, beautiful energy. This is beautiful energy. It's just, it's such a change. Authority of spirit. Temple of dreams. This is a very loud message. You could have it all. You really could. And this is a perfect time to call that in. Sacred dreams. Prophecy. Dream journeys. You know, when, when you have this dream, it doesn't always make sense. Like sometimes God could give you a prophecy. It doesn't always make sense. But especially with the high priestess here, for a lot of people, we're coming into, especially if you're a masculine, coming into the high priestess energy of like following God's will, what God says. Which some, like, I know I've done that in my life where it's like, oh my God, like, wow, how am I going to make money? How am I going to do this? How am I going to that? It always works out. It always works out when you follow how God is leading you. Sacred dreams, prophecies, and dream journeys. If you have a dream, uh, you know, especially when it comes to all this energy, you have a prophecy, you have like a vision from God or whatever your, whatever is your happiest, joyful life of the way that you can live in alignment with your highest timeline and serve others. That's your sacred dream. That's your prophecy. That's your dream journey. Temple of dreams. That's what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you all so much love, so much blessing, so much abundance. Happy new moon in Libra, and I hope you have a good day.